Funko finally announced some Funko Pops that have been sitting on the shelves for weeks. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. I'm glad you're there, Sai. You get the right time. We got an all time line. Uncle's hot toys and chimes don't mind. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you travel walls, we are together. Yes. Do you want the Loki with Alligator Loki biting his arm? Do you want the hooded Black Adam Funko Pop? How about Spinner? How about Bug Eye Spider-Man? Or the Joker comic? Do you know what all those items have in common? No! They've already hit store shelves, and Funko finally decided to announce them. It's about time! Normally they do that before the items are released, but this time I think somebody up. For a while, Funko Pops, like the ones I just read off, had WinterCon stickers on them and they were showing up at stores like Target and Walmart. And here they are now being announced for the first international con that Funko's been a part of. What do you think of that? Pretty f***ing cool. They're going to a different country to sell their Pops. They're going to Brazil. Okay, that accent? That's how, they, that's how a Brazilian person would. No. Brazil. Brazil. How would you say it? You sound like someone from the mafia or something. Well, how would you say it? I would say Brazil. Brazil. Before we go any further, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the little bell, and the like button because that helps this channel in a big way. And it helps you because you get to see more of us. Okay, so all these Funko Pops are coming to something called CCXP. I have never heard of this before. So I think it's Comic-Con Experience? Oh. But that's all I gathered. Unless the CCXP stands for something in a different language, in which case I have no idea. This is Freddy's Beach Bash. You know it's a big deal when they come up with a special name for it. I bet you they're going to have umbrellas, beach chairs, and beach balls. Whoa. What? So I've been receiving a lot of messages today asking when are these things actually going to be dropped on Funko Shop? Because they've released a list of all the things that will be dropping here in the States. But the Funko Shop exclusives and the dates that all that stuff will drop in retailers, I don't think it's been posted or has it? The date has yes, the time has not, which is weird. Okay, what's the date? The date is Friday, December 2nd. And I would imagine, like all of the other cons recently, it's going to be 6 a.m. Pacific. Pacific, 9 a.m. Eastern, but Funko didn't actually put it on their blog, which is odd. Didn't the blog say something like everything you needed to know? Yeah, well, they didn't tell us everything we needed Isn't to know. Isn't that something we need to know, Funko? Yeah, Funko, where's it at? Okay, that was a little much. Where it be at, Whoa, Funko? Whoa, that's a little too much. What's up, Hey, hey! So my favorite part about all this is that we've been speculating what WinterCon was actually going to be. And at yes. one point, we kept saying it was going to be the LA Comic Con. People kept saying it was LACC, so I was just like, okay. Well, like a f***ing dumbass. And I should have been like, well, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's other conventions in winter, you're saying that word a lot. Stop spreading false information. Unless you know it, like, don't say it. I probably said it. I probably said it. You're cursing a lot. But in my defense, when I said it, I said somebody else said it's LACC. Right. You're just spreading the word that's wrong. That's wrong. Yeah. So you're doing more damage than that person. No. Yes. So the first thing that they announced for Freddy's Beach Bash is the, the, the Joker in the comic book, which we've seen already and people are buying it in store. And then there's also uh, the Raven from Justice League, which I think I've seen that being sold already. I don't think so. Maybe, okay. but I don't recall seeing it. How about Hush? I don't think so. Okay, definitely Arwen. Yes, I believe she's Barnes & Noble, right? Somebody messaged me the other day and they had it in their hand. Are you sure that wasn't their pick. It definitely wasn't. It was our friend Assam. You really want to call Dr. Applesauce out? That's how Dr. Applesauce pronounced his name. I mean, I know <laughs> it's a seam, but he called him Assam. Okay, and then there's also the Hawkman soda. I believe that's been dropped already at some point here I in the States. I don't think so. You need to, you're going a little ham on this. I really don't think that's that's gone. I feel like it has. I don't think it has. Okay, how about the Black Adam Funko Pop? I, th I think I see that at NYCC. You might have seen it at NYCC, but I don't know if we've seen it in retail stores. How about Bleach Al Quirlora? All queer, Quora. A Quora? I can't pronounce this. And that's typical with. Yeah, I really don't understand why they have to come up with such complicated names for. Character 
characters. It just doesn't make any sense. It, it just makes things complicated. Like, why can't it be Phil? That would be a horrible samurai name. Especially if it's a character that shows up in an Okay, so what do you suggest their names be? All, it's a U-L. All qu Quira. 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 Okay, let's just, get, let's, let's just move. Let's move. It's let's two move. R's. I know. It's, yeah, it. it's weird. All right, so another Luffy's coming, and I honestly thought this was the New York Comic Con Luffy. Are you serious? Dead 100% serious. Like 100%. Like 100 emoji? You Like 100. Yeah. I honestly, I thought this was the New York Comic Con one coming back until I read that it wasn't the Mary or whatever it was, Going Mary. Only an idiot would think that that was the same ship. You didn't know that was a different ship either. No, I didn't. I know I didn't you know didn't. I, did. I thought what happened was that at New York Comic Con, remember things were like sort of messed up. Yes. I thought that they were just like repurposing it for this convention. Well, so many people went crazy for this particular Funko Pop that I thought that they had another batch and they were just going to be like, Brazil! And why'd they drop it so close to the other ship? That's weird, right? It's really weird. Like, couldn't they do this one next year? Two Luffy Lufadors in one year? It's a little excessive. I mean, that was just like two months before this con. And this thing's called the Thousand Sunny. How many people are going to die over this thing. A lot. I'm not going to actually post comments up on the screen. I'm just going to read a couple, okay? Okay. Cannot wait to be scalped again. Fair. Here we go again, boys. Fair. No! Not another one! Fair. I got three on lock already. Thank goodness. Prayer hands. How do you got three on lock already, bro? Here we go again. Brace yourselves. Very fair. Funko making a fleet of ships. Fire emoji, fire emoji, fire emoji. Fire! Somebody actually wrote that, but they put a lot of K's in there. Oh. Yeah, you just do a lot of U's. I do a lot of H's and U's. Yeah, so this is going to be the grail of this particular cup. What if they produced way more of these than they did the other ship that looks exactly the same? No, I don't think they're going to do that. What if they did? Wouldn't that no. be so funny if, like, people were paying a ton of money for them, but then it turned out there was, like, a gazillion thousand? A gazillion thousand? Yeah. Oh, look, it's a Funko Pop from an anime I've never heard of before. That's weird. I've never heard of this before in my life. And this guy has pterodactyl arms. He's licking his lips, though. That's weird. Ew. You know, I took a sexual harassment class today at work. And one of the things said, if you saw somebody licking their lips at you and they're trying to keep eye contact, is that or is that not sexual harassment? And I can confirm it. Yes. You're freaking me out now. I don't like that. So this character is named Jack, and um, he's from Black Clover. <laughs> Please stop doing that. My Hero Academia Spinner, the Ninja Turtle. We've talked about this so much oh in the past. God. I don't give a f Yu-Gi-Oh! Summon Skull! I really like that one. That one's pretty cool. His feet look like yours. You made that joke in a previous video. Did I? You're so stupid. Did I really? You did. I probably did. I mean, because it's true. So the only Funko Pop that I want from this particular lineup is the Loki with the alligator Loki on his arm. Yeah, he's cool. This is already in stores. People are buying this in droves at Target. Yeah. And I think I have a friend that hooked me up. His name is Asim. You ever heard of Asim? Yeah, on Dr. Applesauce's video. Yeah. Before we go any further with all this, is there any other information we need to know from the the blog? It is Comic-Con experience. Okay. And Confirmed. then after they announced that, they said experience a fresh wave of fandom camaraderie at Freddy's Beach Bash. Oh my God. Now let's jump in to the nitty gritty so you can plan your visit. It's being held at the Sao Paulo Expo Convention Center on December 1st through December 4th. They're going to be hosting giveaways and randomly giving out prizes to fanatics at their booth. That's pretty cool. Shared retailer guide. That's good to know. Here's the guide for the United States posted up on the screen right now. That way it'll make it easy for you to find the fungo pops and sodas that you want at your local retailers. The Funko booth will be open to the public. There's no lotteries. I think it's because they don't quite have as much reach internationally than they, than they do in the States. Or they're underestimating their reach because I have the feeling it's going to get crazy. Oh, yeah. It's going to get wild down there in Brazil. People are going to come in. They're going to break their fucking flip-flops because all they wear in Brazil are flip-flops because it's so nice out. Oh, my God. I wish I could go. They're going to break their flip-flops when running to the Funko booth. You ever see the Brazilian women over there? Mm-hmm. You ever see those Brazilian butts? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. All 
shared items sold through Funko.com and retail partners will have the winter convention exclusive. Therefore, the ones at the con will have the CCXP sticker. Then they talk about how do I know bots won't steal all the items? <laughs> is that really, is that really something that's, Funko has invested in a variety of technology, blockers and processes to prevent bot activities throughout the shopping experience. We are doing our best to ensure the real fans get their hands on the products. That's interesting. Okay, and then if you have additional questions, you can email Funko support. All right, so the next one on the list is Spider-Man Bug Eyes Armor. Don't care about that one. He's straight up kicking somebody right in the beach ball. He's giving them a beach bash right in their beach balls. And look at that, we got an Andor Funko Pop. By the way, people are saying Andor is like the best Star Wars TV show ever made, ever. Is it out? I watched a couple episodes of it. It was pretty good, a little slow. When did it When did it come out? It came out a month ago. I don't know, it has like 1,800 episodes. And this character that, <laughs> I don't remember any of the character names in the show. Her name is Vel Sartha. She's coming to CCXP 22. Did you realize that Dolph's last name is Starbeam? No, but that's pretty cool. Dolph Starbeam. Wasn't there another bully that was dropped during New York Comic Con? Weren't there two? Two bullies for New York Comic Con. Now the third one. That's pretty f***ing cool. I f***ing hate bullies, but that's fine. And the last one on the list is a Treasure Planet Jim Hawkins. Have you ever seen Treasure no, Planet? No, I heard it's good. I have no idea what this is. I really don't. I have no idea what Treasure Planet is. I bet you it's very good. And I bet you in the comment section, people are going to be like, oh my God, Treasure Planet changed my whole life. And they're going to say, Heather and Chris, you got to watch it. It's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. It is the best. Mm -hmm. You need to check it out. Mm -hmm. Run straight away and watch this film. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Never I'm going to be watching New Girl later. That's what I'm going to do. New Girl, man. New Girl. I love that show. No, no. It goes, who's that girl? It's just... It's just yeah, that's how it goes. I was just singing the title. Yeah, you don't even know your song. Yes, Are you I sure? Do. Yes, Can you do the Modern Family song? It's my favorite show. I don't. I come don't. on, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is pretty boring. Yeah, I don't care about anything in this um, in this convention. You don't want anything. Nah. Hmm. Well, another convention. Why do people get what they call a Brazilian wax? Why is it a Brazilian wax? Don't you? Is that where you go like hairless? Yeah, on your downstairs. The whole thing? Mm -hmm. Your butthole too? Oh yeah. You do your butthole? That's part of a Brazilian. You're kidding me. What side are you interested on? The front or the back? You're interested in the butthole part? Generally, if they're doing your butthole, you either get on all fours. Whoa, whoa, so whoa, whoa, you know, whoa. You're kidding me. They have you get on or, all fours? Or you lie on your side and you lift the top cheek like that. You lift it? Yeah, you They that. have you lift it? Yeah. The person getting waxed has to lift their own butt. Well, yeah, they have to hold the stick and they have to put the wax, the, the strip on, and then they do that. Ugh. That cannot feel good around the taint. It actually hurts less there than other places. You had a Brazilian? Mm -hmm. Right on my butthole. What happened? Brazil huh. must have been for your your boyfriend before me. I didn't even have a boyfriend, that was for me. I got Endor <laughs> from Return of the Jedi. All right, well, December 4th is the day to be ready about it, so. December 2nd. December 2nd? <laughs> I just well, said the wrong date. Let me, December let me, 2nd? hold on, let me tell you something. Nobody cares, so you can you can head over to Funko.com on the 4th. Well, other than the Luffy thing. Yeah, people, people are gonna, gonna go want the Movie. But outside of that, I don't think anybody, you think any of this stuff is going to sell out while we're on topic? Some of the anime, so Black Clover might, that's pretty cool looking. Okay. The sodas are actually limited numbers. How limited are they? 50,000. Hawkman is 13,000. Okay. And Arwen is 10,000. Um, so what do you think about this whole thing? Are you excited? Let us know what you think about all of these and more in the comment section down below. And then also let us know which one is your favorite. I'm really excited to hear what the anime fans have to say because I feel like they're going to dig this stuff. Yeah. So let us know if you dig it or not because we want to know. Let us know all that and more below. Also, make sure you head over to poppinoffstoys.com and check out all the stuff they offer there, like Funko Pops, Funko Sodas, Funko Mystery Minis, they got all sorts of stuff. Use promo code GAS or GAS to get 10% off of your entire order. I repeat, 10% off of your entire order with 
the code word GASOCAST. It's very secret. Don't share it with anybody. Actually share it with everybody. Like you can share it with every, literally everybody. Just yeah. have everybody use it. It's a good code, 10% off. Perfect timing, by the way, because Christmas is right around the corner and you gotta buy all your collectibles for your friends and your family and all the people that you love. Yeah. So go use promo code GASOCAST, 10% off. And our patrons at level four get 15% off. So don't miss out on that deal. It's a good one. Poppitofftoys.com, promo code GASOCAST. In every video, we like to shout out to our patrons from Patreon because they are so amazing and we appreciate their support so much. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Steven Skolansky, George Blanchard, Andy Jensen, Headless Dead Stark, Simon Holden, Chris Haskell, Sam Studley, Ozzy Pop and Paul, Iron Mule Pops, and Jeremy Davis. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. Thank you for staying until the very end of the video. We really appreciate all of your support. You are amazing. Remember as always, we hunt together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.